So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can tune and control a voice a little bit more uh, with what we call voice presets. There's other controls that we'll speak about in future videos, such as parrot mode and director mode. In this video, we'll speak about voice presets. So um, if you press on Jen right here, uh, you're going to pull up Jen's portal. And what we can do here, you can see that uh, Jen doesn't have any presets but you can apply a style and uh, an imitation, and we're gonna go through what each of them means. If we apply a style, pressing that will allow us to choose a tone, a different tone. Maybe we want Jen to be excited, even more excited than what she actually is. Um, and we can choose an accent for her as well. Maybe in this case, we want Jen to just stick to her American accent. We just wanna make her more excited. So if, clicking just generate preview, um, Jen is going to go ahead and read this in a more excited um, tone. Let's check it out. Welcome to our podcast. I'm Anna, and to a little bit too loud. Uh, so we now have Anna, we now have Jen or Anna, and uh, she's a little bit more excited. We can save this preset, and from this point on, whenever you want to use these this preset, the excited version of uh, Jen, the more excited version of Jen you can just go ahead and apply that to the selected clip. So um, this way we've managed to now have this always accessible whenever we want um, Jen to sound more excited. We can just come here again, pressing uh, on Jen. It will pull up Jen's portal and we can use this version of, um, of her preset. Now there's an alternative way to achieve something very similar, which is what we call imitate. And that basically allows you to have Jen's voice and imit in speaking in someone else, some another voice from the Wondercraft library um, with that intonation. So it's going to be Jen's sound with the intonation of another voice. Um, something that's very characteristic is if we use uh, Giovanni, who has a, a deeply Italian accent. Why can some people change and others cannot? What um, so if we generate this preview, it's going to be Jen imitating Giovanni. Giovanni. And this could be if you want to have like a very excited voice, a very excited Wondercraft voice, um, and you can apply Jen on top of that excited voice and Jen, Jen is going to be more excited. Or if you want Jen to have an Italian accent, right? This is how you can achieve this. Uh, you apply Jen on top of Giovanni um, and then that's how you can have like Jen speaking Italian and you'll check that out uh, right away. Welcome to our podcast. I'm Ona and today we're diving into a fascinating topic. The so we now have uh, Jen speaking in Giovanni's intonation or imitating Giovanni, we save this preset and similar to how it was before, we will have this available um, from this point on. We will, you can always just pick, pick it up if you ever want to use um, Jen imitating Giovanni or Jen, uh, you know, sounding Italian. So this is how you can use our presets and how you can have this like additional control. You can um, have this excitement levels or accent levels or intonation directly and save these as presets. And from this point on, uh, you can just imitate, you can just pick them up straight away and use them. Um, so this is how uh, presets work. In future videos, I'll show you how you can use parent mode and director mode. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.